heal his body. Yes, Lord. Heal him right, right now, God. Right now. God, touch him right, right now, Father. Strengthen him and empower him as he has a, a clarion call to do so many things, God. Yes, God, we all just don't know the way that the pastors take over. But God, we thank you for a man of God who stands strong, who stands flat footed, and tells the truth no matter what environment he's in. So right now, Father, we ask that you empower him to continue to speak into those people who are ours, the least, the lost, the left out, God. We thank you for our pastor, Pastor Patrick Dwayne Lowley, and we thank you for all that he is and all that he is doing. Right now, Father, we ask you to touch your choir and your people as we give you the honor and praise. Consecrate us right now. God, let us not play in this moment, but let us take serious the opportunity that we have to worship you. God, we just presence right now, Father, so fill us right now with your Holy Spirit, and we shall bless you, thank you, lift you, magnify you, your daughter, son, Jesus, name we pray, and say amen, amen, and amen, come on, let's get excited, I don't know about you,
scripture says, Jesus says, there he may be in the midst also. Sometimes in that scripture we miss what happened to him. We think about that it, it deals with praying and agreeing. What that deals with is when you're going through some things, God will encamp some people around you to help you. And sometimes, I don't know about y'all, but sometimes it's a long time before somebody gets to me. But the thing about the Lord, the thing about the Lord that when God has blessed you so many times, you get to a place to where you don't want to move until you hear from God. As a matter of fact, in our prayer, sometimes we can be so quick in our prayer life that we pray and we lay our petitions before the Lord. But sometimes we don't wait on the spirit of the Lord. And with that, with that, what, what, is, what do you mean, Antonio? Sometimes we give God our grocery list. We give God our bucket list. And sometimes God says, I got more for you than that list. I got more for you than what your mind can think of. I got more than for you than what your heart can desire. Sometimes God just sits up there and just waits on us. So I dare you in your praise and worship moment in this particular hour. I dare you not only in the praise and worship moment, not only in this hour, but even after you pray, just sit a while. And I dare you to tell God that, Lord, I don't mind waiting. I'm not waiting for anybody. I'm not waiting for, for petition and applause. But well, Lord, I'm waiting on you. So God, in the way in which you want to commune with me, Lord, just sit here with me. Lord, the way in which you want to use me. Lord, just use me. Lord, the way that you want to speak to me. Lord, speak through me. And it's in this moment, in this moment, and in this hour. Just tell the Lord if that's your petition this morning why don't you just reach up to heaven and look up to heaven and just say Lord I don't my way
for moving in our midst today. We thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayers and our petitions. And Lord, meeting us right there in the form of our needs. In the form of miracles. In the form of answer prayer. And we say thank you on you. Just let us know that you're praying for us. Let us know 
that you're thinking, if there's a need in which you need, look, we're a part of the Care Portal Project, and which is a state grant organization in which we help meet the needs in our own zip code. Amen? And then here's a shameless plug. Our pastor is running for District 6 representative. So if you are, if you are, if you are wanting to be involved in a church that's on the battlefield to know Jesus Christ and to make him known, as well as being involved in the community, I promise you first missionary is that place. And if that's you, go ahead and put in there, that's me, that's me. And what we're going to do immediately following worship, we're going to contact you and let you know in ways in which you can do it. How many of you are blessed in the city and blessed in the field in this place? How many of you are blessed in the city, blessed in the field in this place? I don't know about you, but God has been too good for me in order to keep it to myself this morning. So this morning, we just want the Lord, we just want everybody to join me with us in singing this whole Come on, come on.
Father is indeed yes, he is. one of you. Amen. Yes, he is. Amen. Amen. Two weeks ago today, I was in the emergency room. Amen. Yes, sir. But last Sunday, I was trying to recover from surgery. Amen. Yes, sir. But the God I serve yes, sir. is an awesome God. Yes, Thank you, preachers. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for worship. Thank you for carrying on as you have. Yes, Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Reverend Michael Evans Jr. for serving with us on Palm Sunday. Thank you, Reverend Zachariah Johnson, for, for worshiping with us on Easter Sunday. Amen. That, 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 that brother told us. That, that, that brother declared to serve here as interim pastor between the transition of the late Pastor Singleton and this person who served you on the service. That, that, that brother declared to us. That, that Easter is everything. That, that, that's what he told us. Easter, somebody say Easter yeah. is everything. Yeah. Well, Brother Charles, I made a mistake and I read Robert Rules of Order. I made a mistake. And I read Robert Rules of Order, Rashad. Yes, and I discovered in Robert Rules of Order, anybody ever read it before? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That, that there comes a point when someone can declare a, a point of order. Uh -huh. can, can, I, can, can I throw a foul flag down and, and declare a point of order? We have not been decent and in order. I had to declare a point of order. Uh -huh. Last Sunday, in our quest to get some odds to the Easter ham, <laughs> we made a mistake, a point of order. And I rushed up here today to declare that foul. Declare that power. Wherever you are, if you have the ability, I need you to stand wherever you are, if you can stand right now. And Mastro, I need you to prepare to lead us in happy birthday. Easter and First Missionary, April and First Missionary is Mother Easter George's birthday month. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My mother George turned 90 on Monday. Amen. 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 And, and First Missionary, I do not recall anybody singing happy birthday to her. Born of all. Happy birthday, come on, let's see happy birthday. Yes, sir. 
Fruit doesn't fall far from the trees. Amen. And how blessed we are. How blessed we are. I, I miss Palm Sunday and I miss Easter Sunday. But, but John tells us something about that occasion. And, and before we go there, I, I better tell you, and I'm speaking now to our young members, our children of First Missionary. Be careful when you select your friends. If you got five sets in your pocket, and you have some people hanging out with you. They're not your friends until you have nothing in your pocket. Talk, sir. Yes, sir. Talk, sir. If you got some hopscotch, play some hopscotch, if you could shoot some marbles or whatever. And Tell your age. You, you no longer have them, okay. If you got Nintendo or Fortnite or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your Wi-Fi doesn't work and your friends don't show up, there it is. That, that's a good indication that that's not your friend. Uh -huh. If you have a little money in the pocket, in the bank, and you get invitations to go out to eat, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden you start getting collection notices and non-sufficient funds mm -hmm. indicating that you have to file chapter bankruptcy. Uh -huh. And, and no one calls your name, that's a good indication that they're not your friend. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When you have position, power, and privilege, mm -hmm. and, and all of a sudden you step off the mantle, and you're no longer invited to the social club or to Thanksgiving, or you don't receive Christmas cards or Christmas presents, mm -hmm. that's a good indication that that's not your friend. Yes, sir. In essence, I'm telling you, first missionary, a true friend is one when your back is against the wall. Yes, sir, there it is. It is not when all is going well. It's when your back is against the wall. Uh -huh. That's a true friend. My friend has arrived in the house today. Yes, sir. My brother beloved of nearly 1995, whatever, was that 26 some years now? I'm trying to do my math. Yes, sir. The, the children had problems with the math test this week, I understand, at the state level. So I'm trying to do some math without a calculator. Uh -huh. A, a, a true friend. Be careful who you call your friend. For oh, I heard what a friend I have in Jesus. Jesus was on his way to Calvary's cross. John chapter 12 tells us that Mary prepared to anoint the body and folk got upset and then People were trying their very best to kill Lazarus because folk were believing and following Jesus. Uh -huh. Jesus had his triumphant entry into Jerusalem. Jesus, our friend, was headed to Calvary's cross. Yes, sir. And on his way to Calvary's cross, there was. call it this. There was a a pivot. You know what a pivot is, don't you? Mm -hmm. There was a pivot that occurred on Jesus' way to Calvary's cross. Mm -hmm. Up until that point, those who were following Jesus followed him because of what was going on in that current environment the healing of the sick, mm -hmm. causing the blind to see, yes, sir. even raising Lazarus. But an event 
occurred in John chapter 12, round about verses 20 and 21, that give rise to why we are here on today. Yes, sir. It's because of the future of Christianity. Uh -huh. It's why we are here today. Yes, sir. My, my friend, would you please come stand in front of us? And look at the people in, in the pew and the people in each church. Uh -huh. Because my friend has stopped by today because of the future of Christianity. Uh -huh. Indeed, that's why those Greek, those Greek men said to one of the disciples, Philip, sir, we would see Jesus. Yeah. It's about the future of Christianity. It's about us living down here trying to get up there. Yes, sir. Well, you all take your finger and point toward the preacher and the pulpit and say like those who are concerned about the future of Christianity, sir, sir. We, would we would see Jesus. Come on, here, wake the dead up this morning. Sir, sir. We, would we would see Jesus. Come on, let's wake up the neighborhood.
Thank you for being you. Yes. And all that you are, God. You are omnipotent. You are omnipresent. You are sovereign. You are almighty God. You are higher than high, and you are lower than low. You are wider than wide. And we give you glory today, O oh God. For you alone are worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun until the going down of the same, we understand that the name of Jesus is worthy. Yes, to be praised. Father, we thank you now for this time, God. We pray now that you would sink us down into the treasures of your word. And hide me now behind your ever glorious cross. They may see you and not see me. Voice in the matchless name. Jesus, we do pray and we ask it out. Amen. Amen. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true. With thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary for you, Lord. Prepare me to be a sanctuary. Uh, 
beautiful esteemed wife, first lady Rhonda Moses, mm -hmm. who has stuck right by his Amen. side. Amen. Amen. Give her hand first missionary. And she has stuck by the man of God's side. We salute you on this day to all of the leaders and members of this great church. Amen. We salute you today for the for your service and for your support of your man of God today. Amen. Amen. And then I don't want to miss recognizing my wife who may be tuned in today. Amen. Amen. Watching at home uh, who is still the sugar and cream in my coffee. Amen. Amen. Still, still the sugar and cream and cream. in my coffee, amen, amen. Yes, she sir. has been my support, my prayer yes, partner, uh, and has lifted me up before the Lord, amen. Yes. Pastor Moses, I dare not miss this opportunity because I gotta go home yes, now. Sir. I live here, yes, so I gotta make sure I get that in, yes, amen. So so I, I dare not do that, uh, but we want to, today not uh, prolong your time but we want to lift today from our text this morning it's coming from Philippians 4 and 8 but we're going to start with verse 6 he that has an ear let him hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying and it reads, starting at verse 6, be careful mm -hmm. for nothing. Yeah. All right. Be careful for nothing. In the Amplified, it says, do not fret mm -hmm. or have any anxiety about anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But in everything, mm -hmm. by prayer and supplication, yes. with sprinkled in with thanksgiving yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. let your requests be made known unto God yes, sir. verse 7 says and the peace mm -hmm. because what you've done before and the peace of God uh -huh. yeah, 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 yeah. which passeth all understanding yes, sir. shall keep your hearts and minds uh -huh. yes, through this matchless land. Amen. Through Christ Jesus. Uh -huh. Then he says in verse 8, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, Whatsoever things are of good report, mm -hmm. if there be any virtue, mm -hmm. and if there be any praise, yes. mm -hmm. think on these things. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Finally, brother, whatsoever things are true, mm -hmm. whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, mm -hmm. whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, Whatsoever things are of good report, uh -huh. if there be any virtue, yeah. and if there be any praise, think, think, yeah. think, mm -hmm. think mm -hmm. on these things. Yes, we want to bring your attention to this subject today. How to stay focused in this season. How to stay focused in this season. This particular text caught my attention a few months ago when I found myself having to encourage friends and family uh -huh. to 
Holy Spirit arrested my attention mm -hmm. to this text and wouldn't let me let it go. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. More and more, as time had gone by, kept on coming up, and I understood why. In case you hadn't noticed, there is a whole lot of crazy stuff going on. Yes, sir. But I believe by now everybody has noticed. Our world as we thought we knew it has been turned upside down. After a year has come and gone, we are yet still trying to come out of this pandemic situation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I said situation because there's nothing. I declare there's nothing. Uh -huh. yes, sir. Uh -huh. Nothing too hard for the God we serve. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You have to understand that He is our Creator, Creator of everything that you see or will ever see. God is our creator. There is nothing, mm -hmm. nothing too hard for our God. Mm -hmm. All it takes is a move of God and a situation has to change. Talk, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. Come on. Creation will always, yeah. always yeah. obey the creator. Uh -huh. yeah. yes, sir. When he speaks, yeah. something has to happen. Uh -huh. yeah. Creator, yeah. creation has to always yeah. obey, obey the creator. Yes, sir. No matter what's going on, what matter situation that's happening right now, all God has to do yeah. is say a word. Yes, sir. And everything yeah. has to come back to order. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't be fooled by the media. Don't be fooled by the press. When God speaks, everything has to come to order. Everything has to come to order. We, we, we found ourselves in a situation with this pandemic. We found ourselves some struggling to put food on the table. We found ourselves hard to pay bills. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All because of job loss. But, Pastor Moses, I came to discover the truth of the matter is that's not our real problem. Okay, okay. Our real problem is now we have to come to grips with ourselves. See, it's 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 easy to see the lights. It's easy to see the people in front of me in the sanctuary. Mm -hmm. It's easy for me to see that back door. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. It's easy for me to see the computer. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's easy for me to see the musician. Yeah, man. It's easy for me to see the instruments. But one thing that's hard, <laughs> it's hard for us to see ourselves. <laughs> But God has placed us in a position where we have no choice but to see ourselves. We couldn't travel no more. We, we, we used to could stay busy doing something. But everything came to a halt. It, it, we, 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 could, we could stay busy doing other things and so we wouldn't have to look at, take a look at what 
we really are. Uh -huh. Pastor Moses, it happened right before my birthday last year. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 and I was upset. Yes, sir. <laughs> right after the week of spring break. Yes, sir. You talking about upset, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was upset. I made plans to go to the Mavericks game. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They were playing Utah Jazz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On a Thursday. Yeah, yeah. On a Thursday night. Yeah. Kind of see how upset I was because I remember details. <laughs> I hadn't seen a Mavericks game in a long time and I just wanted to do something different. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. And everything came to a oh, yes, sir, man. We deem so many other things important yeah. instead of true relationship with God. Yeah, man. We deem outside relationships instead of relationships that, that, that are in the confines of our own home. Yeah. We, we found ourselves disconnected from the people even in our own homes yeah. because we stayed so busy. Yes, But God brought some stuff to a home. Mm -hmm. You see, when we take a look at 2020, it started out as a year of vision. Mm -hmm. yeah, vision, you see, 2020 vision is supposed to be perfect vision. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. It's supposed to, you're supposed to have clear eyesight yeah. into what's going on. And clear eyesight that you can see some things going into 2020. In fact, I, I read an article on the social media platform for business professionals called LinkedIn. Uh -huh. The article on LinkedIn was titled 24 Big Ideas That Will Change Our World in 2021. <laughs> The article started off saying no one saw 2020 coming. Yes, sir. We, we're supposed to have perfect vision. Yes, sir. 2020 means perfect vision, but no one saw. No one saw 2020 coming. The article says, in fact, at the close of 2019, economists in the U.S. talked about the prospect of full employment. This means they thought the economy would be doing so well that everybody that could work would be working. Mm -hmm. Japan was set to open its doors to the world as host to the Summer Olympic Games. Mm -hmm. Oh, but then yes, COVID-19 yeah. happened instead. Yes. Yes, it changed the focus of everything. Yeah. I discovered personally, I, 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 I was sharing with Pastor Moses in the back that school was virtual and some went back to school. And, but, but, but I had to be the instructor at home. Mm -hmm. I, I, I discovered I had to be teaching Cafeteria lady, <laughs> campus monitor, <laughs> custodian, yes, nurse, counselor, and principal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> In fact, I told my son's teacher, I have a newfound respect <laughs> for the job she does. Uh -huh. At Christmas time, I Pastor, I, I bought her gifts. <laughs> Plural. Plural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gifts. Gifts, yes, sir. <laughs> because I found myself having to keep my son focused yes, yes. Mm -hmm. in order for him to learn the lessons. Yes. The teacher was teaching. 
I had to keep him focused. Yeah. I had to keep him focused. Yeah, man. So he could learn the lessons the teacher was teaching. Oh, my brothers and my sisters, could it be that God has flipped the script to get our attention and push us back into focus on what's most important a relationship with him and those closest to us. Could it be? Could it be that the teacher had to get our attention so we could learn the lesson that he was teaching? Somewhere along the way, we lost focus even before 2020 hit, we lost our focus yeah. and didn't even know it. Yeah. I suspect that preachers started out the year in 2020 talking about the reason why they started out the year about vision, talking about vision. Mm. Because we really had already lost focus. Yeah and didn't know it. Yeah. We have to stay focused, yeah. especially in this season. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. We lost the fact that we are kingdom people. Uh -huh. yes, sir. We lost the fact that God has an agenda for his kingdom-minded people. You're here for a reason on this earth. But I think we got caught up in the brick and mortar. I think we got caught up in just services and not the serving. In fact, Matthew points out what we ought to be in chapter 5, verse 13. He says, ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt have lost its savior, yeah, wherewith shall it be salt? Yeah, it is sent for good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under the foot of man. And then verse 14 says, Ye are the light of the world, yeah, a city that is set on a hill and cannot be hid. You see, there's there's, there's, there's something that we've forgotten about. Yeah. We're here for a reason. Those who have been blood bought, blood washed, you're here for a reason. Yeah. God has a purpose for his church. Mm -hmm. God has a purpose for his kingdom minded people. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're, you're salt. And if you look a little closer, salt is meant to flavor mm -hmm. and to purify mm -hmm. the thing that it touches. Mm -hmm. There it is. Flavor. You, you are the flavor of the earth. You know, sometimes we, we pray for favor instead of flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. We, we have to understand that if you have the flavor of God, mm -hmm. favor will follow you. Mm -hmm. You have no choice. Favor has no choice to follow you if you have the flavor of God. Mm -hmm. Pastor Moses, we were in praise team rehearsal one, one week and, 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 and Sister Carly, one of the praise team members brought this up and her and Brother Rod were talking about some food, some, some low man. And, and, and they said, and, 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 and her husband, Sister Carla's husband, uh, said, uh, I've tried other places with low man, but, but there's, only, there's, there's only one place that has the taste or the flavor that I like. Mm -hmm. 
And so I don't want no other uh, place, but I like the flavor from this place. Yeah. So because he likes the flavor, yeah. he favors yeah. one place. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you have the flavor of God, yeah. favor has no choice but to follow you. Yes, sir. Yeah. So you, 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 you have lost your flavor. You, you have done so many other things until you've lost what God has for you. Yes, sir. God has intended for us to be the salt of the earth. Yes, he has intended for his church, amen, to make a difference. Yes. And we forgot mm -hmm. that we need to make, we're here to make a difference. But then he says, you are light. A city that sits on a hill that cannot be hid. In fact, God says, like the young people say, you need to be flavored and lit. You got to stay lit for God. You got to let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works. And glorify your Father, yeah. which is in heaven. Oh, yeah. you, 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 you've forgotten who you are. Yeah. Oh, church of God, mm -hmm. you've forgotten who you are. Yeah. You ought to stay flavored yeah. and lit. In fact, the Bible declares in Psalms 34, oh, taste and see. That the Lord is good. Yeah. He is good. Amen. He is good when you are flavored. If you are seasoned. If you are the salt of the earth. Amen. You ought to taste good. Somebody ought to see the goodness of the Lord in you. Oh, yeah. Even when stuff is going wrong. When you're in a bad situation, they ought to see the goodness of God in his church. Amen. Some of us are by ourselves so we can see ourselves. 2020 is about vision because our focus was off. It was off. Uh, and, 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 and we get so busy, but I like it. I like it. I like it, Pastor, when God chooses different places and different things to start talking to us. Amen. And see, I was I was waiting one day in the barbershop uh, so that I could get a, get my shave. Man, I I started thinking I, I'm wasting my time. I'm not. I got too much stuff to do. I'm, I'm so busy right now, but I, 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 but but then God started talking. He arrested my attention right there in the barbershop while I was waiting. He got my got me by myself so I could see myself. See, 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 God gets us away from the distractions. The distractions of life, we have no choice now but to pay attention to what God is doing. I had to see him. I had to hear him. He had to get the distractions away from me to see and hear what he had to say. In fact, he says, he that has an ear, let him hear what the spirit of the Lord has to say. And he was saying some stuff. He was speaking. What about the relationships that's close to you? Where is your focus at now? I've, I've gotten rid of all the distractions. In fact, I told the praise team, we, 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 we used to pray for uh, and against distractions. 
Every morning we prayed against distractions, and now God has taken away all the distractions. He, he, he stopped the people from walking during prayer time. He, 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 he stopped the people from, from distracting when, when, when praise and worship is going on. He, he stopped it. He stopped the dancing. He stopped the walking. He stopped everything. So we could pay attention oh, yeah. to what we needed. The intercessors were, were, were complaining about people walking while they were interceding for everybody. But he stopped all of that. Yeah. He put everything to a halt. Yeah. But we don't like to quote this one. And, 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 and because we were so worried, we got so stressed out. We, we like to quote this one, but 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 but... But but now it has new meaning. And the Bible declares it, it says, and we know that all things work together for the good of them who love the Lord and who are called according to his purpose. Has no meaning now. Has no meaning now. And we know. That all things, yeah. even this situation, oh, yeah. even this situation that we're in, is still working out for our good. God has an expected end for everything. He said, I know the plans I have for you. Plans, plans to prosper. Even in this, some of you have still been prospering. Amen. Yes, sir. You, you, you made more, more money now than, than you were when you were working on the job. Amen. Get out of my business. Out of my business. If, 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 if truth be told, <laughs> some of us are making more. Yeah, yeah. And we know yes, sir. that all things are working together for good. For them who love the Lord. That child that you thought you knew at home didn't know some of the stuff that they were doing because you were so busy. Now you've caught a glimpse of the stuff that's been going on in your house. And we know. That all things work together for them who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. Somewhere we got our focus. As we transition on into the text, this letter was written by Paul to believers in Philippi. The same Paul that had a grudge against the church but became a gift to the church. Yeah, yeah. yeah the same Paul mm -hmm. yes, that had a grudge but became a gift. Mm -hmm. He wrote it to thank them and encourage them in their faith. Mm -hmm. Paul knew that his beloved brothers and sisters in Christ would, would be tempted and tested. Yeah. He, so he urged them to stay strong in their faith. Mm -hmm. To be content and to rejoice in the Lord always. Even in the hard times, we got to still have joy. Yeah. Even in those weary hours of the night, you still got to have joy. Uh -huh. In fact, James says, this, says it best like this, count it all joy. When you fall into divers' temptations. There it is. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith uh -huh. worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, yes, that you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Yeah. God has a work to do on us. Yeah. God has some work to do on us. You still have to count it all joy. That takes faith. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Count it all. Joy. In fact, the Message Bible reads it this way.
Consider it, consider it a sure gift. Yeah. Friends, mm -hmm. when tests and challenges yeah. come at you from all sides, mm -hmm. yes, you know that under pressure, there it is. your faith life mm -hmm. is forced into the open. Mm -hmm. Amen. Some of our stuff has been forced into the open. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. You know, we, we, we thought our faith was one place, but it was in another. You know, it, it, it's hard to see yourself sometimes when you got too much going on. He had to force our faith life into the open. And it's showing its true colors. So don't try to get out of anything prematurely. You know, we like to hurry up and get out of stuff. But there's a reason Sometimes that God allows you mm -hmm. to get into some trouble. Mm -hmm. There's some stuff that he needs to work out of you. Mm -hmm. And see, and see, I know that, 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 that when God sends tests, if you don't pass it, yeah. it'll come back around again. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, 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 that's, that's what used to happen when we were in school. We took a test. And if we didn't do well, mm -hmm. you found yourself testing again. Yeah. Just like this tax test we got yeah. going on in school. Yeah. If you didn't pass it in your earlier grades, guess what? You're not getting out of school yeah. until you pass that test. Yeah. And God has us in the school of life yeah. that if you don't pass a test at a certain level, you're going to have to go back and take the test again. Yes, sir. We, we, we have to know that God is when he is, has, has, has put something in our way yeah. that he is sure to bring us out. Yes, sir. yes, sir. That's the kind of God we serve. He doesn't leave us, nor does he forsake us. I'm reminded of this story this person told, he said, I was driving on, on my way out of town and, and, and a storm came up. It kept on raining and raining and raining and hard. I couldn't even see where I was going. But the Lord said, keep going. He said, there was something in me that said, keep on going, keep on going. But, but I wanted to stop. I wanted to stop. So it and wait for the storm to stop. But, but something in me said, keep on going. Keep on going. Mm -hmm. but, but, but on the other side, yes, sir. as he kept on traveling, there was the sun that came out. Yes, sir. The sun came out and he said, had I stopped in the middle of the storm, uh -huh. yeah. I wouldn't know that the sunshine was on the other side. And I'm talking to somebody today. Don't stop. Yes, sir. Because you're in the storm. Uh -huh. Don't stop. Uh -huh. Because you're ill. Yeah. Don't stop because of unemployment. Don't stop. Keep going. Yes, Keep sir. your focus yes, in this sir. season. Because on the other side, uh -huh. the sun's going to come out. Yes, sir. I hear, I hear we've been made yes. indoor uh -huh. for a night. But joy, yes, sir. oh joy, yes, sir. comes in the morning. Uh -huh. Keep your focus. Yes. God has us in this thing because he needs to get something out of us. In fact, Paul's letter to the Philippians talked about having read joy in everything. Chapter 1 talks about the joy in suffering. Chapter 2 talks about the joy in serving. Okay. Chapter 3 talks about the joy in believing. And then chapter 4 talks about the joy in giving. You see, my brothers and my sisters, real joy does not occur with what's happening on the outside. Real joy occurs from what's going on on the inside of you. Oftentimes we make a mistake and happiness for real joy. Inward joy comes from 
knowing and trusting God. While happiness comes as a result of pleasant circumstances, real joy comes from the inside. Yes, sir. So I say to you this morning, my brothers and sisters, check your joy. Yes. Check your joy. Inward joy is lasting. Mm -hmm. We can feel joy in spite of our uh, circumstances, our troubles, because we know and trust God. Yes, we need to stay focused on the Lord. That's who Paul is addressing when he says, finally, brethren, we, us, those who trust and believe, those blood-washed blood believers, you need to trust in the Lord. That was my first point. We, my brothers and sisters, have to stay Focus on the word of God. Yeah. Yeah. 2 Timothy says this, 3.16, says that all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Yeah. We have to keep our focus yeah. on God and his yeah. word. Paul says, finally, brother, if we us, the church, kingdom people, the called out, the ecclesia, the royal priesthood, we need to keep our focus on God and his word. In this season, he first says, whatsoever things are true, you got to know what is true in this season. True statements are true, can be proven or verified. God always verifies what he says. If it hasn't been verified by the word, then you need to check your source. God always verifies what he says. You got to make sure that it's not the enemy speaking in your ear. God verifies. Verifies what he says. When you hear the truth, you know it. Because it can be verified. We understand that the word of God is the whole truth and nothing but the truth. The other side of truth is a lie. Numbers 23 and 19 says that God is not a man, that he should lie. Next he says, whatsoever things are honest. Honest means to be free of fraud or deception. Legitimate Genuine honesty is also marked by or displaying integrity. Yeah. Okay. Amen. Integrity is just a big word for, for doing the right thing when no one is looking. Yeah. What have you been doing? Yeah. Yes, have you been doing the right thing when 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 you thought nobody was looking? The right thing, no one, when no one is looking. When someone says this, let me say it another way. When someone says, I'm being transparent with you, they're actually saying that I'm just being open and honest. Mm -hmm. Transparency is a thing that, that, that says that I'm being vulnerable to you. I'm being open. I'm being honest about who I am and what God is doing with me. You got to be honest. He said, whatsoever things are honest. Yeah. Then he says, whatsoever things are just. Yeah. Just means acting or being in conformity with. Yeah. 
what is morally upright or good, righteous, being what is merited, faithful to an original. I like that part. Being faithful to an original. See, see, God is, is always faithful, but it's us who will turn our back when things get hard on us. God is always faithful. Faithful. You have to be faithful to the original. And there's only one God. As far as I'm concerned, no matter what they say about Buddha, no matter what they say about Confucius, there's only one true and living God. There's only one true and living God. Uh, when I look when I look, when I look at this first word that came to me was Romans 1 and 17. <clears throat> For therein is the righteousness of God. Yeah. Revealed from faith to faith. Yeah. As it is written, the just, they shall live by faith. Yeah. The just shall live by faith. Mm -hmm. Faith is the substance yeah. of things old. It's the evidence of things not seen. God is working behind the scenes. We, we may not see him physically, but he's working. That's why you got to stay focused. He's still working behind the scenes. Then he says, whatsoever things are pure. Pure means free from defilement. <clears throat> not contaminated. It is also related to the Greek word hagios, which means holy. Yeah. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Yeah. First Samuel 2 and 2 says, there is no one holy as the Lord. For there is none besides thee, neither is there any rock like our God. Yeah. There's nobody like it. In fact, the song says, I searched all over. Couldn't find nobody, nobody greater, nobody greater than you, Lord. Then it says, whatsoever things are lovely. And lovely means, as an adjective, means exquisitely beautiful. Next time, yeah, you want to impress your white pastor, just say you're lovely, baby. Next time you want to impress them, just say you love it, love it because it means you're exquisitely beautiful to me. Psalms 27 and 4 says, One thing have I asked from the Lord that I shall seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to meditate. In his temple. Mm -hmm. Yes the Lord is lovely. Because he is exquisitely beautiful. Mm -hmm. Next Paul says. Talks about whatsoever things are of good report. Mm -hmm. We hear a whole lot of reports on the TV. On the news. All the stuff is bad. But Isaiah 53 and 1 says. Who hath believed our report? Yes, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Yeah, any real good thing comes from good news of the gospel. Yeah. We have to focus our attention on the good news. Yeah. No matter what they're saying on the news that you watch on TV, we have to focus our attention on God and his good news. Yeah. Hallelujah. Then Paul says, if there be any Virtue. Yeah. And virtue simply means excellent. Yeah. And Psalms 8 and 1 says, Oh Lord, how excellent is thy name yeah. in all the earth. Yeah. If you're thinking about excellent, you will have to find yourself thinking about the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. You will have to find yourself thinking about the goodness of Jesus. Uh -huh. You have to find yourself thinking about the goodness of Jesus in all 
that he has done for you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you find yourself crying out unto the Lord who has made heaven and earth. Yeah. Uh, yeah, then he says, if there be any praise, that brings me to this last thing Paul says, that we need to stay focused in this season and we need to stay focused on God and his word. Focusing on his word will lead you into worship. Yes, it will. Yes, we must worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. Yeah, yes, in the year the king Uzziah died, I saw the Lord high and lifted up. That's worship. And his train filled the temple. Psalms 100 puts it like this. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord all ye lands and serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Yeah, know he that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us. Yeah. And it's not we ourselves to take a look. Turn the tables and take a look at God. Keep your focus on God and his word. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Uh -huh. yeah. And I like this. Put it up into his case with thanksgiving. Yeah, because it's good like that. And into his courts with praise. And be thankful unto him. And bless his name. Yes, For the Lord is good. Uh -huh. Yeah, how do I know that he's good? Well, it happened one day. Uh -huh. Calvary. Uh -huh. Way back on Calvary. They, they said he marched up a hill uh -huh. called Calvary. Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, first they, they tied an old rugged cross to his back. Uh -huh. Yeah, he kept on walking. He said, didn't say a mumbling word. You know, we like to say some trust words to people when we get in trouble, but he didn't say a mumbling word. He just kept on marching because he had a task to complete. He had to be diligent and consistent uh, on his way to complete his task. And so he kept on marching up Calvary's hill. And then the Bible says they hung him high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They stretched him wide and they pierced him in his side. And even when he said, I thirst, they gave him some vinegar. But 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 he didn't stop. He, he kept on until he gave up the ghost. Yes, he did, yes, he did. The blood was streaming down for you and for me. The blood was streaming down that we might have a right to the tree of life. The blood, oh, the blood, it washes us white as snow. Oh, the blood, the blood, it cleanses everything that you could ever think of or imagine that you will ever do. Ah, the blood, the blood came streaming down and then they, they, they tried to bury him. Ah, but they said it was just borrowed. Yeah, it was just far up because he wasn't going to stay there. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, all night, Friday night, all night, Saturday night. But then early Sunday morning, uh -huh. he got up and said, I got all power yes, in my hands. Yeah, I got all power in my hands. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Got all power in my hands. We need to stay focused in this season. We need to stay focused on God and his word. Uh -huh. Stay focused, my brothers and my sisters. Yeah, maintain your joy. Uh -huh. Yeah, maintain your joy. When you get into anxiety, when you get into all this other stuff, he says there's some stuff that you need to think about. Uh -huh. And all of this stuff points back to the word of God. Yes, sir. It all points back to him. Yeah, keep your focus on the word uh -huh. of God. Yes, sir. And he will keep you. Mm -hmm. He will never leave you, uh -huh. nor will he forsake you. Keep your focus, people, in this season. God still is operating. God still has his hand on the situation. God still has you in mind. 
He has an expected end for you and his church. We're the called. And we know that all things work together for the good of them who are called, who love the Lord, and who are called according to his purpose. How to stay focused in this season. It is the word of God. It is God and his word. In the beginning was the word. And the word was God. Amen. How to stay focused. The preacher said this morning that how you stay focused is you first, you got to get with God. He says not only do you got to get with God, but he says you also then have to spend time in his word. And what that means is that means that means learning, that means that means meditating. And not only does that mean learning and meditating, that means talking about it as well. Meaning that it is a, it makes a redemptive difference once you establish a relationship with God, get in his word. And I love what he ended when he said it leads to worship. And what is worship? Worship is an intimate relationship, an intimate calling, an intimate walking, an intimate prayer life, an intimate life with God through and through. In which you live out everything in which God had called you to. Thank you for that elder table. And this morning we extend an invitation for you to get your focus back. We extend to you an invitation to get to know God. We extend to you an invitation to get in his word. And we extend to you an invitation to worship him and in spirit and in truth. Well, Reverend, how do I do that? I'm so glad you asked. You do that by asking him to come into your life. If you don't have, there's no hard prayer, there's no scripture. You literally just says, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Forgive me of my sins. Lord, right now I believe that you are the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe that you are King of Kings and you are Lord of Lords. And today, Lord, I make now this relationship with you to walk in your everlasting love and your everlasting way. You may even come on behalf of Christian experience. You say, look, preacher, I've been saved. Look, preacher, I've been baptized. But I'm ready to go to another level in ministry. I'm ready to go to another level in my relationship with God. We offer you that. You may say, look, preacher, I'm ready to plug into a ministry that's about knowing Jesus Christ and making him known. There's no place like 4928 Miller Avenue, First Missionary Baptist Church on the corner of Miller and Fairfax. Today, we offer you an extended and invitation for us to call your family. Not only for us to call your family, for us to call you friend, for us to say that we love you, for us to help pour into you and get you and help and get you to where God has called you to be. You may say, look here, preacher, I've been baptized. Look, I'm coming on behalf of Christian experience. I'm coming on behalf of a letter. I'm transitioning. You may say, look, I just need prayer. We offer you this moment right now for prayer. Will you come? Will you come? Come on, come on, come on. 
yourself can be used of God too. You don't have to be behind the pulpit. Uh -huh. Talk, sir. Yes, sir. We just talk about you are the salt. Salt spreads itself around. So you can be, you can be used of God as well. Amen. 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 Thank you to the first missionary. Amen. For you that are here and you that are watching online, thank you for listening today. Thank you for uh, invite for the invite and receiving me today. Thank you. And then thank you uh, to my pastor, Bishop Spears, who allowed us to come and speak a word uh, to this body of believers as well, where I serve as minister of ministries. Amen. 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 Thank you once again. Great church. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Amen. 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 We're going to stand and be dismissed wherever you are. Amen. 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 Now, God, thank you for this time. Thank you for allowing us to partake of your word today. Now, God, don't let it fall on deaf ears. Let us not be just hearers of your word, but doers of your word. And so, God, help us to apply. Give us life application now to apply this word to our lives that we may live better for you and glorify you in all the things that we do. Now let the peace of God rule over us now. It's now and forevermore. Now let us say, Amen.